so I wrote this book, and I should, I should tell you uh, a little bit about what's going on with the book. My father is a pathological narcissist who's bipolar, and none of you need to tweet that. Um, I think it's pretty out there. And, uh, and he is not talking to me right now because of this book. So that's pretty exciting. I didn't have dolls, I had little dinosaurs that, from the Natural History Museum. And someone gave me at one point a Barbie doll. The only time I had a doll and what I did with it was I would pull the head off and give myself 10 seconds to get the head back on or she dies. <laughs> so, wow. which if you've read Stiff is actually kind of accurate. Wow, you basically get 10 it back second on. rule, yeah. 10 second rule, right. yeah, you're on, you know, you wow. could still Survive that. That's nice. Uh, no, no Ken dolls. Then just, a, just it was a just a Barbie. Yeah, with wow. a black perm. And nice, nice. Ninety percent of what you have in this world is entirely due to your blessings and not to your work. Yeah, maybe you work hard, but you didn't earn your IQ. Your brain was a gift. What if you had a brain that didn't work? It wouldn't matter how hard you worked. What if you were born into a relocation camp in the Sudan instead of being born wherever you were born? What if I'd been born in the first half of the 20th century in Warsaw instead of the second half of the 20th century in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania? Then it wouldn't have mattered how hard I worked. Most of what we have is good fortune. The chairs you sit in, the air conditioning that that cools you, the clothes that you wear, the glasses that you wear, the car that you drive, the building that you're in, you didn't invent it, you didn't build it, you didn't create it, you were lucky. We, I was on the X-Files for seven years. I was an employee and it was the second, it was a close second in, in as far as wonderful jobs go compared to this one, Breaking mm -hmm. Bad. Uh, I learned so much, uh, I, I learned everything I know about doing TV, it was a great job. I personally wished it had gone 10 years instead of nine because I was having the time of my life and I was learning and I was getting to direct for the first time. And then I kind of, because I'm, I'm not a big internet guy, I don't look things up on the internet, uh, and I kind of popped my head up out of the gopher hole there when it ended, and people, and all of a sudden I'm hearing people saying, God, that show used to, the X-Files used to be good, but man, it should have ended two, three years, or four years earlier. Yeah. And I'm not saying folks are wrong, I'm just saying it hurts when you hear that. And I, and I, and I was an employee, and like I say, I, I, I just, I did not come hell or high water. I did not want that happening with this show.